Hey guys, talk about Maximo for a minute, specifically in aviation. A lot of people don't realize, even the people in the world of Maximo, that there is a specific vertical, Maximo for aviation, for the aviation market. There are a couple critical key reasons for that. Yes, on the surface, you are managing an asset that's physical, like the majority of assets we manage day to day. The difference is not just the fact that it's in the air, but it's the regulatory oversight because we are in the air and how to keep things safe. And there's also some additional nuance because of the lifespan of the average aircraft. As you probably know, it's not uncommon to board a plane and you are gonna be on a 20 to 30 year old aircraft. And in some cases, even older than that. And that doesn't mean they're unsafe. You know, these things last a very long time. But over that period of time, things change. So what does that mean? There are system upgrades, there are component upgrades, there are part upgrades. And when we start off with an aircraft, we start off with an airframe, that basic frame that everything is assembled onto, and that makes our aircraft. And that's the way Maximo for Aviation is engineered, to track it based upon an airframe, a version of an airframe. And then as we add components to that, Maximo for Aviation tracks what all the compatible parts are. That's critical, compatible parts. Because based upon an upgrade to an engine, based, on, based upon an upgrade to our landing gear, based upon an upgrade to a tail screw, we will see some of the compatible parts fall off the list and new ones come on. And maintaining that accurately, following all of the manufacturer's compatible parts, uh, recommendations, rules, and regulations, keeps us in compliance with the FAA and keeps passengers safe. That is millions of parts to manage. This is not something that is easily done on pen and paper. Yes, they used to do it. In fact, in the 1960s, Engineers at United Airlines are the ones who in introduced the concept of reliability and how to manage to reliability versus constantly over maintaining things. So they were doing this on pen and paper. It can be done. But the reason that United Airlines invested in that engineering exercise is because they recognized that maintenance was eating all the profits. So reliability centered maintenance in the aviation industry is critical. Having the technology help us with those compatible parts is critical. And what then the result is, I've put all my parts in, I've identified my airframe, my as built on the aircraft, and then I need to understand, is this what I've built? Is this airworthy? And that's where Maximo for Aviation really takes the cake. So it is you build, you input the rule set based upon what the manufacturer has told you, but Maximo through the BDI, the build data interpreter, will then analyze the build that you have put in front of it and tell you whether or not what you are doing, that part you're about to assign to that aircraft, it's gonna tell you if that's considered airworthy or not. And look, th this is not a case of the individual technician knowing whether or not it's airworthy. This is a case of whether or not the FAA will authorize you to fly that as is and whether or not the insurance companies will insure you to fly that as is. That's really what this comes down to. Yeah, I'm sure there are combinations that are safe outside of that rule set, but the key for the aviation industry in a commercial perspective is to ensure compliance so that we keep safe aircraft in the air, we keep passengers safe, and we can keep selling seats at a market competitive rate while keeping everyone on time and safe while they're getting to where they're going. So Maximo Free Aviation, built on the core Maximo product, with some really serious add-ons that allow you to in-depth analyze the compatibility of the full system of components that you've put together on a particular airframe. 
that's what makes Maximo for Aviation special. That's what makes it the most powerful product right now in the aviation industry. Love to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, put them below.